Another night of rioting led to businesses and institutions along 60th Street in Kenosha being destroyed. Our Ryan Jenkins was there as families arrived to find their livelihoods smashed. You can see crews are demolishing the probation and parole building here behind me that went up in flames during last night's unrest. Smoke is still filling the air. There's still some hot spots that crews are dealing with. And crews have been on the scene all night into this morning as neighbors now wake up to help clean up other businesses impacted along 60th Street here in Kenosha. The mom and pop shop, B&L Furniture, <laughs> reduced to a pile of debris. It's, it's all going on. And the family who owns it, devastated after nearly four decades in business. My next job is to clean this up, and then after that, I don't, I don't have a job. Just next door, several car dealerships destroyed. Local businesses busted into and vandalized, and the Department of Corrections building <laughs> now rubble. Most people were just walking around like they were in a parade. But then you had random people that were doing this, these things. Overnight into Tuesday morning, a curfew was in place. The National Guard was called in, but still Randolph Sanders, who has lived in Kenosha since he was a kid, says peaceful protesting was interrupted by criminals. Today, he's fed up with the damage that's been done. I don't justify the shooting whatsoever, but I can't justify these people's livelihoods. Shock. It's devastation. As volunteers show up to help pick up the pieces. They've worked their entire lives to have these businesses. Community devastation in the aftermath of the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Reporting in Kenosha, I'm Ryan Jenkins.